the AI is not slowing down. We have got a new model called Code Llama. I mean, as the name suggests, this is a coding specific Llama model. This is a model that is based on Llama 2 and it has got the state of the art performance among open source models. What we are going to do in this video is we're going to dive deeper into understand what is Code Llama, what kind of languages it supports, how does it fare with GPT-4, which is something that I was quite curious to know. And also if you were to use it, how can you use it? We're going to dive into all these details one by one. To start with, what is this Code Llama model? Code Llama model is a new model. Uh, basically a family of large language models because Meta AI has released three different models. Before we get into the details of these three different models, this is a model that has been fine-tuned on Llama 2. They've mentioned that they've used almost the same data set for it to be used. So now the Code Llama model has been released with three different models. One is the base Code Llama model. The second one is a Python specialized Code Llama model. And the third one is an instruction following Code Llama instruct model. So again, the difference is an instruction following model can take an instruction from human being and then can give an answer. For example, you can say, give me a Python code to write Fibonacci series. That is an instruction and a code llama instruct model can take that instruction and then give back the result rather than the other models, which are most likely an infilling or text completion models. These models have three different parameter sizes, 7 billion parameter, 13 billion parameter, and 34 billion parameter. So there are three different models that come in three different sizes. All these models are trained on 16,000 token sequence. So that means the context window here is 16,000 and it has shown improvements to go up till 100,000 tokens. Yes, you heard it right. It can go up till 100,000 tokens. The 7 billion parameter and the 13 billion parameter code llama and code llama instruct models support infilling based on the surrounding content. This is a very popular thing that a lot of people do on VS code using GitHub Copilot. What you can do is you could have written couple of lines of code before, couple of lines of code after, and in the middle, you can ask that model to fill in. And that is possible with Code Llama and Code Llama instruct variants, not with Code Llama Python variant. Another happy news is Code Llama is released under the permissive license that allows for research and commercial use and as you might have rightly guessed, commercial use comes with the same clause as Llama to model. That means that it is okay for you to use it if you're a small company, but if you're in the size of a Google or if you're in the size of any other company, as big as that, you may not be able to use it for commercial use. But I guess like most of our subscribers are not in that big. And if you're probably that big, you might be not even looking at this model. But anyways, you can use it for research and commercial purposes. So this is an amazing, amazing news. Overall, Code Llama seems to be like a great model. I mean, I have not tried it, but looking at the features that it has got, it looks quite amazing. Code Llama supports a lot of languages, starting from Python, C++, Java, PHP, TypeScript, which is like a, a JavaScript variant, C Sharp, Bash, and much more. Um, if you ask me the things that I understand, probably I would try it out with Bash and Python and JavaScript. But overall, if you see, this is again, really a great coverage of programming languages and also uh, three different variants and also three different models and the model with fill in the middle like infilling capability is quite amazing to quickly understand how these models look like you can understand the different type of the model like when did the model come in if you look at the code llama specialization pipeline you have got the foundation models which are llama foundation models llama 2 foundation models 7 billion, 13 billion, 34 billion models. Then they have been taken for special code training and also infilling code training with 500 billion tokens. Then they went to into two different directions. One is the long context fine tuning for the 16K tokens. The second one is a special Python code fine tuning and then Python code training. And then that went through a special long context fine tuning. So this way, all the models have 16K tokens and the base model that went for the long context fine tuning went specially again for an instruction fine tuning. So this way you have got the model that has been taken from Llama 2 that has been trained for code training and infill code training that went with the code Llama 7 billion, 13 billion, 34 billion. The model that got instruction fine tuning became code Llama instruct and the Llama model that went through Python code training finally ended up becoming the code Llama Python model. That is all the details that we had to know about the Code Llama models family. 
if you are quite interested in what is there then i would strongly encourage you to read the technical paper basically from where i've learned all these details so there is one thing that is quite fascinating for me which is the instructions that they have used to train the model are quite interview format questions for example you can see the self training prompts that are like write 50 programming interview questions of easy and medium complexity and it has got like various these kind of questions i found it quite fascinating because the entire programming industry relies on interview questions like lead code and now what we are seeing is that these models are being trained with this kind of question and answer and that can actually answer this quite well now having said that i would like to take your attention to something quite interesting which is the benchmarks of gpt4 so what i found fascinating is one this model is quite amazing there is no doubt that this model is not good but this model still does not beat gpt4 that's something that we need to know but again you cannot compare a closed source model versus open source model is something that a lot of people would say but i still expected code llama to be quite amazing but here we have got the benchmarks on a human eval pass one gpt4 had scored 67% while code llama the base model has scored uh, 33 36 48% and code llama instruct had scored 34 42 41 and 62 the unnatural code llama model i don't know what is that unnatural code llama model and the code llama python model has scored 38 43 53 so if you see this is way way below gpt4 gpt4 is still the undefeated king of coding models i think there is no doubt about it but if you see every other open source model code llama is really doing good in fact if you just compare the llama 2 like if you have been fascinated by the coding skills of llama 2 code llama is quite a way be better than llama 2 model in itself which is a good thing so overall what we have got here we have got a new model we have got a new model with 16k context window we have got a new model in three different forms especially python focused model and we have got this new model with free and open permissive license to use it until a certain limit for even for commercial users and we have got one of the best models available and also the best open source model ever so far what you have seen and we know for sure that the community is going to take this model and fine tune it and so we are going to get more specialized models so how can you use the model one you can go to this meta website and start downloading the model in itself where they have released the blog post you can start downloading the model but if you don't want to download or if you do not have enough compute the bloke has already released the fp16 which you can directly go here and then download it from hugging face model up so this is a transformer compatible model which means you would be able to use it with hugging face transformers i'm definitely going to make more tutorials around how to use this model but for now if you are if you are already you know familiar with this you can go here and download the model i hope this entire tutorial of the code llama family of models were useful for you if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting